Spirulina is grown in these ponds from the production center located in Kudugu, 100 kilometers from the capital city, Ouagadougou. Spirulina, often referred to as a dietary supplement, is part of the algae family and grows naturally in lakes. It can be artificially grown in ponds that are about 200 meters square wide, where inputs are added to enable its growth. In each production facility, it is produced daily between 7 a.m. and noon by a team of three women. The process includes the harvesting, the compression, the extraction, the drying, and finally the packaging of the product. Spirulina is très nutritionnel. Spirulina is highly nutritious and contains many vitamins, including vitamin A, B, C, E, and K. It also contains other nutrients such as trace elements like iron, manganese, calcium, potassium, and many others. By consuming it regularly, we absorb its nutrients for the benefits of human health. From then, we are able to treat malnutrition and also anemia. Consuming spirulina allows red blood cells to be produced quickly enough and as a result, makes up for blood loss. In three weeks' time, we are able to treat malnutrition and also anemia. According to UNICEF, about 3 million children die of undernutrition in developing countries each year. The Spiraline Project was created in Burkina Faso to fight against malnutrition and provide support for people affected by HIV AIDS. To this day, the Spirulina Production Center is the main supplier for health facilities across the country. We work with three groups, children who suffer from moderately acute malnutrition and children who have severe acute malnutrition, in addition to children who come for follow-up visits. We see that using spirulina in malnourished children enables them to recover quickly. Also, we currently work with women with low breast milk supply, and any time we identify any such woman, we ask her to take spirulina to help increase her milk supply. Spirulina is very good. I mix the medicine with my baby's food and feed him every day. It has now given him strength and improved his health. Although spirulina has been approved by the Ministry of Health of Burkina Faso, it has not yet gained worldwide recognition by health organizations. Spirulina's effectiveness is not any more to be proved, but I think it is more about certain international farms and labs wanting to protect their interests because if it emerges on the market, it could serve as a substitute for all these labs' profitable products, which are sold on the global market and which will in turn affect their profits. Although spirulina has many benefits at the present, we think it needs recognition from the WHO along with an official authorization that enables this product to be used towards treating malnutrition, particularly in certain African countries. The surprising success of Spirulina enabled the creation of new farms in order to meet the growing demand in Burkina Faso and in neighboring countries. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.